In 2015, Shaka Smart was named head coach at the University of Texas. One of his first actions as coach was to reach beyond the athletic department to his academic colleagues on campus. One of those calls was to a psychologist named Kristen Neff, who specializes in a practice called self-compassion. Coach Smart saw the mental exercise as a positive teaching tool, and in 2016, Dr. Neff spoke to Shaka's team. One play at a time. It might be you, it might be you, it might be you, it might be you, it might be you. Shocker was so open-minded. He wasn't just stuck in a traditional way of seeing things. He seemed to really be open to any sort of alternative ideas that, that would especially help the mental health of his team. Dr. Neff talks a lot about the inner critic and this negative voice that all of us can tend to have in our minds. And then we're upset about being critical of ourselves, and then it keeps snowballing and getting worse. I think it all goes back to having a level of presence in the moment of what's going on first and foremost within, and then secondly, in the environment around you. He really understood the incredible stress of being at this level of collegiate athletics, and that he really sought me out to see if I could help offer them a tool that would help them cope with their stress and help their mental well-being, and really wanted them more than anything to have a skill that could help them in life, even beyond the time they're here at UT. For the past 20 years, Krista Neff has been impacting lives across the 40 acres and beyond. What began as a personal journey at Cal Berkeley has become a movement, and her book, Self-Compassion, The Proven Power of Being Kind to Yourself, is the academic Bible for the subject. She's currently teaching two courses at UT Austin. Now we're going to talk about my favorite topic, which is self-compassion. The idea of self-compassion does stem from Buddhist teachings, but I really don't think it's a Buddhist concept. I think that it's a human concept. Self-compassion is basically just compassion turned inward. So if we think of what compassion for others is, being kind, caring, supportive to other people when they're in need or struggling in some way. And so with self-compassion, we treat ourselves the same way. Self-esteem is a global evaluation of self-worth. Self-compassion is treating ourselves with the same degree of kindness and concern and acceptance that we show to a good friend who is struggling. It's just really important that students learn how to be kind to themselves, how to support themselves when they're struggling or feeling stress. I felt that by helping people understand the importance of self-compassion, they could actually learn to support themselves. Not just thinking about the students, but I think that the world truly needs self-compassion right now. I think we can all agree there's a lot of suffering in the world right now. Dr. Neff talks about not isolating your experience to think that it's something that no one else is experiencing. People across the globe are experiencing the same anxiety and fears. So it helps to have someone sort of guiding you through your process of self-compassion. This whole realm of life or way of thinking is something that is ever evolving and you never really get to a point where it's like, ah, yeah, I've got to, I got to figure it out. It, it doesn't work that way. So I guess more than anything, it's brought to light some things that maybe were in the background and forced me to think about those things a little bit more. Open your hands. This is actually what mindfulness feels like. It's really taking off now and here's why, because it works. That's the thing about self-compassion, it just plain works. You know, when you're struggling, if you just turn your attention toward yourself in a supportive way, speak kindly to yourself, it makes a huge difference. And it's not rocket science. Anyone can do this. Put both hands over the center of your chest. I feel like I'm the luckiest person in the world to be able to do the work I do. Peaceful. It's just tremendously gratifying. Calming. Coming up, we'll go right downstairs and take a tour of the LBJ Presidential Library's latest exhibit called Get in the Game. 